Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joker A Five O X, and today I have some news for you guys. Now, recently everyone knows that Dragon Ball Xenoverse Two was supposed to get some free DLC, and it finally arrived last night. Actually, um, I was about to play another game, and I saw that Dragon Ball Xenoverse needed an update, so I quickly, well, I quickly downloaded it, and I played a little bit. Now, apparently, in this DLC, we're supposed to get um a few new things which is every now and then in multi lobbies we'll get Frieza a Frieza siege uh, raid mission um we were supposed to get some new teachers who I have yet to see I'm assuming you have to be like you have to complete all the other teachers first before you unlock these because I haven't did that yet so that's what I'm currently doing um, we're supposed to get some more clothes from pretty much Frieza's army so to speak well yeah Frieza's army um we have a new Goku, we have a new moves, a new custom preset for Goku pretty much, and a new one for a hit. Now I don't have a hit unlocked on my Saiyan, so I'm actually gonna try and collect the Dragon Ball so I can see the new hit because I really wanna see what's new about them and I mean most of the YouTubers I watched they've they've seen extremely hype for this new hit. I mean I played with the Goku last night and he's way faster. His attacks are a lot more stronger, so Overall, he's 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 better than the original, which I think is very cool. But it kind of overshadows Vegeta because he doesn't have a um a transformation within his blue form. So eh, it's whatever. Uh, I never really play with the characters anyway. I mainly use my characters, so it doesn't really matter to me. But I am a huge hit fan, so I do want to see what's different about him. And for the life of me, I just was terrible with the original hit. I know the moves haven't changed too much, but they, I, I believe they gave him a new ultimate, and um, I think it was a uh, super soul. They gave him a super soul. It's supposed to help out a lot, so I'm interested to see what that does, and um, apparently, last but not least, I believe there are four new moves we can learn. Now, how those moves are learned, I'm not sure. Um... <clears throat> I know uh, when our new te our new teachers are supposed to teach. Obviously, we learn moves from those. So no, it has to be more than four. Um, I don't remember who the teachers were off the top of my head, but I know Weiss was on one of them. It was either Weiss or Future Gohan. That or they're for the first like actual DLC DLC. So I don't I don't know for sure off the rip. Um, but. I like to point out that they did update multiplayer, well, multi lobbies, to the point where, they're once you first step into the lobby after the update, they're gonna inform you pretty much what's new, which I think is very useful. So people don't hop into, hop on a game after an update and they're trying to figure out, oh, so what's new? I mean, it's not like we get patch notes on the Xbox, so we have to go and figure out what's all new and everything. But as soon as you hop into your multi lobby, they pretty much display everything that's new for you and show you um what it is and this that and the third there's these new things actually in multi lobbies for um match coordinating based on skill level they have three sections you have beginner then you have free for all and then um i think the other one is just advanced or something like that for pretty much players that are good at the game i mean clearly someone who's good can just go into um a beginner's uh, match coordinated match and just dominate other players which that, I don't that that's that's corny man like they did this for people who aren't so good at the game and it's kinda like okay so you're gonna come here and just mud stump all these kids who aren't so good but you know every now and then you'll have that douchebag that'll do something like that and pretty much what the match coordinator says it says roll up roll up this is the beginners matching area might you be interested in a battle full of vim and vigor today? Most fighters who come here are around level 20 or lower, so you're sure to find the perfect opponent. Do you have the seeking opponents emote? If you do, you should give it a whirl. It signals that you want to battle, so other warriors can easily find you for a fight. When someone sees you performing that gesture, they might just come over and challenge you to a match. Now see, me personally, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't read it originally, I just 
like kind of tap through it so i didn't know you had to be level 20 to participate in that i thought it was based on skill level so i'm gonna go over here to this other one and check it out see what's the difference da, da, da. all levels match coordinator okay all right hey you there you yeah you the one who thinks about fighting 24 7 welcome to the free fall fighting match arena matching area god why do i keep saying arena you don't care about beginners experts or any of that nonsense do you you'll fight anybody bring them on all day you say yes. <clears throat> You can take anyone, man or woman, young or old. You don't have dis you don't have to discriminate here. You can pick a fight with the monkeys, <laughs> but you can pick a fight if, with monkeys if he's asking for it. Do you have the seeking skill? Okay, so at I guess at all of them they're gonna ask you if you have the seeking opponents emote. So um, people, it, it pretty much signifies people that that you want to fight. So um. So something you'll notice different about the map in general, they've added some new icons. Uh, one of which happens to be uh, this flag. Uh, that's that's pretty much your new. That's um pretty much where you make a team at or whatever. The other one is the news, which is the thing that kind of looks like a cell phone almost. And they've actually put icons for yeah um expert missions on here now, which I think is very good. And these versus um icons this is where you go to challenge other players and this is where players that want to fight randomly will hang out it, it pretty much it pretty much bits you up against the community you're not just out here roaming around trying to find random fights going to the um the online battle section it's not ranked it's a player match so you don't have to worry about whether you win or lose whatever the case may be um let's see what the advanced one says hey you there you got you the jaded one looking fresh challenge looking for fresh challenges <clears throat> welcome to the advanced player matching area you look like the kind of fighter who only satisfied after an intense battle one that'll go down in history if that's you in a nutshell then there are plenty of others here who feel just the same come here anytime for a fight got it <clears throat> if you think you're the ultimate fighter then I've got news for you everyone else here thinks the same and see, then it asks you the same thing that all the other one asks you if you have the seeking opponents emote, which I don't. I don't really know how to get. So, and like I said earlier, what that'll do is signify other people that hey, you want to fight, which I think is a neat touch to the game. It's something very simple yet something so good. Like it's 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 really good. It lets people know you want to fight. You don't have to worry about not finding a match because this update lets people know hey, you want to throw down. I mean, in the past on Xbox, I don't know how it is on PlayStation. I can never really find an online match, and when I did find them, it was mainly against cheesers who mainly use the most like OP moves, and I just take L's. And I mean, I can't complain. I don't practice on this game, so I knew I wasn't the greatest. But there's a difference between playing against a cheeser and someone that's just great skill. Like the last guy I fought, um, Mojo, Mojo, or something like that. I think that was his name. Um, he gave me the hands, and it was straight up. He didn't really cheese me or anything. He played smart. He outplayed me. I can't complain about it. So big ups to him. Um, and yeah, now recently, last thing I want to try to do, I want to figure out where are these new teachers because I've yet to see any of them. And like I said, I believe they're supposed to be new teachers. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. I was going based off something I read on Satan Island, but it could have been also been talking about the um it could also been talking about the new actual DLC DLC, not the free one. Because this is the free DLC with uh Hit, Goku and all of them. So it could have been talking about that instead. So I could have the wrong information because they did put both of them in the exact same post so it could kind of throw you off but if this video helpful if you guys like it go ahead and hit that like button comment tell me what you think and as always it is your boy joker 850x and we are out peace don't put away my pride tired of feeling low even when i'm high ain't no way to live do i want to die i don't know I don't know